In this problem, we are looking for the remainder when the integer that we are given is divided by 9. First, we have to find that integer. So looking at the situation, let's try to get rid of the multiple layers of fractions here. We have an 8 on the bottom there and a 9 on the bottom there. Let's multiply those bottom fractions by 8 and 9 on the top and the bottom. So we still have 19 75 on the top, and then the fraction on the left-hand side of the bottom gets multiplied top and bottom by 8, so we have 16, and then 32 plus 5. And our other fraction gets multiplied top and bottom by 9, so we would get 27, 9 multiplied by 6 is 54, plus 7. So we cleaned up that bottom layer of the fraction. So from here, let's clean up our fraction a little bit more by adding together the bottom fractions. So we would get 16 divided by 37 plus 27 divided by 61. From here, we would like to add those fractions together in the denominator. So we still have 1975 on the top. The fractions in the denominator don't have a nice way of combining them in terms of finding a common multiple of 37 and 61. Those are both prime numbers. The only thing that we can do is multiply top and bottom by 37 and 61 and then add the fractions together. So the whole denominator will become 37 times 61. And in the numerator, we would get 61 times 16 plus 27 times 37. OK, so if we add together the 61 times 16 plus 27 times 37, we get 1975. So that's really nice for our problem because then we have a 1975 on the top and the bottom. Now the bottom we still have a divide by 37 times 61. So from here we can use our rule of changing division to multiplication by taking the reciprocal of the fraction. So we would have 1975 multiplied by 37 times 61 divided by 1975. 1975 appears on the top and bottom. They are inverse pairs, so they cancel out. And now we're left with this integer, 37 times 61. We want to know what that integer is when we divide by 9 and find the remainder. So let's use the trick for 9. The trick for 9 says that we can add the digits together. So this would be the same as 3 plus 7 times 6 plus 1 multiplied together in mod 9. So mod 9 here means that we're looking for the remainder when we divide by 9. So the 3 plus 7 becomes 10, and 10 when we divide by 9 has a remainder of 1, and the 6 plus 1 becomes 7. So 1 times 7 in total, our answer is 7 to this problem.